early entry into Miss World. So if you went to represent South Africa, it's a huge honor just to be on that platform, but you did make the most of it as you clearly intended to. Uh, when you got though to Miss World, did you feel you had a good shout at it? I did feel I had a good chance. I think the one thing that really gave me a good chance was the story of South Africa. I don't think that you go represent your country solely on your own with your own story. I think it's so intertwined with your country's story and our country is a story of hope and, and new beginnings and a future and potential and I think that was attractive for the judges and for the people. So I'm so grateful that I could represent our beautiful country internationally. How did your life change then immediately? Did you suddenly uh, you're off to a penthouse apartment and covered in dust? Well, the first were. thing was I wasn't called Miss South Africa anymore. I was called Jolene. Um, and that was a big change. You know, while you're there, you're always South Africa. South Africa, where are you? South Africa, where are you? And it's great to be called South Africa, but it's wonderful to be called your own name as well. <laughs> so, um, yes, I, I just set off and we started traveling. I came back for Christmas holidays and my then boyfriend asked me to marry him, like literally two days after I, w I was Before coming. anyone else could get in there. Yes. Nice. So, He's done really well. Nice. He was clever. So we were really good at, at keeping secrets, you know. We weren't allowed to have a public relationship when I was Miss South Africa or Miss World. And then he asked me to marry him. So it was a whirlwind year full of travels to different countries, raising funds. And it was just, yeah, representing South Africa. And I'm so grateful for South Africa. Oh, you did uh, an incredible job and you represented us brilliantly. Oh,